Welcome in, Yak. Promo code. What is it? Yak. Yeah. Roback.com. <laughs> Roback.com. Good. Promo code Yak. Great Sponsored program. by Roback.com. Yeah, joggers, Q-zips, polos, hoodies, shorts. I'm wearing the joggers right now. Roback.com. Promo code Yak. Hello, everyone. It is Monday, September 11th. Are you gonna? Cl- oh, we did say we we're gonna start clapping. Oh. Oof. Hello, everyone. It's Monday, September 11th. Kyle, I feel like you should probably take this one. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. We were talking before the show started, before the first ever case race. Do you remember the shirt Kyle yes. wore in? To yes. Yeah, first one, was it? I think it was the first case race. And you, Kyle walked into the studio, and Big Cat, you just look at him, and you went, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You also, I felt a little bad because Kyle like came back like you know sweaty and breathing heavy he's like i walked all over the city to try to find this and all i could get was like a 3xl twin towers yeah oh no it to was... be clear it was the the twin towers in pristine S- standing up yes yes all correct flame. i think correct. ribbon cutting just well, happened and it was a button up one side was one tower one side was the uh-huh. other and i wasn't as much the shirt it was the fact that we were about to get hammered and then we were going to sit and just stare at his shirt it was the man in hour. The- <laughs> yeah and just make jokes about it <laughs> Like it was, it was basically a prompt. It was like a, a, a improv prompt that we were going to use for an hour and a half of the case race. You saw the shirt on like a vintage Instagram, and you reserved. I reserved it immediately. Which you, I just DM them, must keep this, and he says, "No, I think you're good. Don't, don't, no rush." And I still sprint it. Keep this right now. Tell everyone who's trying to buy this shirt. To Fuck off. Yeah. Sorry, it's yeah. reserved. Do you still have it? I don't. I don't know where it went. Use it as a cum rag. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is too big to wear. Yeah, you're right. I get it. <laughs> By the way, this is probably the last yak uh, that I'll ever do as a free man. I'm, I'm about to go to jail for uh, burner accounts online. Mm. So, yeah. You knowing you guys. I can't believe they got us. Scoop, <laughs> yeah. Scoop, Barstool Sports used burners, burner accounts to skirt uh, copyright law. And then inside the scoop, what was the exact quote? I was quoted. Um, I got to find it. This is a, th- He's been doing investigative research or, or invest, an investigation on Barstool Sports for what seems like the last, like, I don't know how long, uh, four months trying to uncover our burner accounts you were quoted in the article <laughs> yeah i was quoted in the article on a scoop that he's like we have done it we found it after all this hard work uh my quote was after five seconds uh spent listening to the 80s rap hit cats announced unprompted we're gonna have to put this on a burner now how did they figure out that we have burners <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> well, like, what, what research went into this i dude he this guy who hates us and it's just a very like there's been obviously a million times that we've gotten a hit piece and someone's like oh, okay yeah maybe we acted wrong there maybe we should have you know not taken that whatever whatever maybe this one he is specifically just being like will someone think of the billion dollar corporations barstool sports is taking five second clips of highlights and songs Oh, the humanity. Bar- so, yeah. Barstool's been in the wrong before on things, but right. like, this is undeniably cool of us. Yeah. He, <laughs> really punk rock. Yeah, this is a, a, a very punk rock. He So he emailed me asking for comment, I think, on Thursday. I didn't reply. Um, but he had that quote. He was like, what did you mean by this quote? I wanted to reply and just be like, we, we had to put it on a burner. What are you talking about? Of course. I also like the idea that they probably sat around like they're in this like cave trying to figure out like all the all the connection to stuff and then they mm-hmm. find frank was right and they're like do you think this has anything to do with barstool it's, it's, and it's like it's this the smoking this gun haircut seth burner account yeah what right mean? right we're not exactly sneaky about any of yeah. this and the burner account is the name of hank's old burner right yeah for any Lydon. yeah 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 wait until they find that one yeah so we at least we we stay <laughs> consistent with our burner <laughs> <Yeah>. accounts <laughs> But yeah, I think I'm gonna go to jail. I think I'm. I think I'm probably the FBI is gonna raid my phone, and they're gonna. It's gonna be over for me. Or you're gonna have to pay back 
the NFL or something. Yeah. Or using their clips. Who is uh, Julie, uh, the Chicago girl? Oh. The Julie. I, Julie DeCaro? She, oh, yeah, she, she was. She so did this, is, who, who did this? Because this is. Oh, I oh, need Kurt, to know, I need to know more about. Justin Trudeau. Like, it was the funniest thing ever. He just read her entire book. On... Yeah, so Julie DeCaro is <laughs> yes, Forever, who's a very not smart That's person. So uh, it, to put it mildly, saw this article and was like, like I too have been stolen from barstool sports. Like she saw the the headline, and doesn't realize that this guy is writing an entire article, being like barstool sports is taking like NFL highlights and stuff from like Sony Music, <laughs> like again billion dollar corporations. She was like, I too have been stolen from by barstool sports. She said, different. M- Method, same result. The day my book launched in 2021, Barstool read the entire thing on this YouTube is the greatest for seven endor- hours, <laughs> completely gave it away for free. This is the greatest I'm endorsement totally. for Barstool. Yeah. I mean, I, I read this. I was like, who did it? I need to know everything oh, about so this. Oh, so funny. So fucking funny. Yeah, it was my guy, Justin Trudell. He's hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's so good. The, it, Kirk had him do that. It was a genius move by Kirk. And uh, it was, yeah, it was one of the funniest YouTubes ever. He just sat there reading the entire book. <laughs> 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 and she thinks that that... I would love to. I actually would be very funny if there was one person who was sitting there listening to Justin Trudeau read the book. To hear like, the book. Thank God I don't have to buy it now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. How lucky am I? Uh, but yeah, this one was. I mean, of all the hit pieces, this one made me laugh the most because you could even see the reaction. Like people who normally just pile on us are like, "What are we doing? Yeah, here, what, are we, dude? what are we supposed like, to do here?" You, well, too, didn't talk about the lady who's like, she, they, Barstool stole my holiday song, and then we all found out that she just stole it from someone else, too. Yeah, she like, stole it from Black Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, she <laughs> like, was like, we, yeah, it was way worse. She, still, this article still pointed to her like an example, and it's like, well, she stole from yeah. whatever. Yeah, that that story, that, that story was the one that we just looked really bad because we did the $50 I mean, gift card. I do love the picture of Dave. Yeah. It is cool. With the yeah. mask on. He also, I I didn't read the whole article, but he thought, like, he had a, in his email to me, asked me for comment. One of them was, like, someone stole the a clip of the Kobe Bryant interview I did with A-Rod, and I replied and said, I don't give a fuck that people are taking this. It's the internet. Everyone should be able to take everything, but just want to point out that if roles were reversed, Barstool would get dragged for this. Mm-hmm. How is he, that getting me? I feel like that's pretty consistent logic by me, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't... Clips on the internet are clips on the internet. They go everywhere. Wait, they found 40 of our burner accounts? Yeah. I'd like to see that list. I have the list. Of burner accounts. Do you have the list of the names? Yeah. It's got to be a funny... Yeah. Funny Chuck roster. Tomato? Or... Chuck Tomato. No, Tomato. <laughs> to- Chuck oh, Tomato. Yeah. Chip Skyler had a great run. Chip Skyler? Skyler? He got shot down. That's a good one. Ray Baker. Ray Baker was mean. a good one. Uh, let's see. Skeeter was Bailey Garland's. Oh, yeah. As dumb as this is, it must be a lucrative business for these people to. They know just that they write know blogs about blogs. us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this one's just grab clips. <laughs> that's a oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that one's a dead giveaway. Wait, the oh, article no. lists all these. No, I, I I know that he sent me. I think he hyperlinked it in the article. Um, Grabbed clips. Grab clips. I don't. There's no other that are that funny. Sonk four two six five nine five six six. Yeah, so I guess. Oh wait, what's this one? Oh, Mark Turgeon Stan. That was probably <laughs> <laughs> Mark Turgeon. <laughs> like that can't exist. That's not believable. Uh, yeah, so I'm probably gonna go to jail. It is what it is. It was nice knowing you well, guys. You had a good run. Yeah. Yeah, hell of a run. Skeeter sixty nine sixty nine did me in. <laughs> I can't believe it. We always knew it would it would do that. Yeah. All right. So what else we got going on? Are there are there any actual repercussions that can come from that or no? Uh, I don't know. I doubt it. I think we'll probably have to trim trim a little bit of, you know, like the VP of football operations. Mm. Damn. Good thing I dropped that title. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the there's a new sign. Yes, I saw. There's a new sign. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, would you see a football Steve operation? Steve former? No. No, I don't think you're going to like this one any better, Brandon. I don't think he'll mind one. it, actually. No, I think he's going to fucking hate it. Yeah. I think. I also got this. I don't think this is an upgrade oh, for you, goodness. Brandon. Uh, Brandon. Yeah. Brandon, look at that one. Okay. VP <laughs> of football operations. I also got this made go. so that we can oh. somewhere. 
Here That's we go. not necessary. Well, it's just that. <laughs> oh, <okay>. oh <laughs> no. That. That's <laughs> decor for the wall. Yeah, we just put it up right here. That's so gonna look nice. Mind everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Stephen, there's that. That's fine. That's great branding for me. That's not great. No, branding. it's not. It's yep. gonna be. Um, People are gonna no. see my Twitter handle in all the shots. They're gonna see it with. Oh, actually, no. Okay, yeah. maybe. I feel like Steven's just That's glowing because the Bucks are one and zero. Oh yeah, yeah. like you can't you can't get to him right now. No. I do want to talk about your yeah. commute though. Who me? <laughs> you eight forty three is when it started this morning. Yes. And I was sitting there, and you got here at ten thirty. I st- I stopped the clock. I went to Taco Bell across the street for a Victory Monday uh, breakfast. <laughs> okay, what you I get? didn't know that. All right. Crunch wrap supreme or breakfast crunch a- at, crunch wrap at ten o'clock in the morning. I smelled hash browns on the way, and I was like, I gotta have it. Fair enough. Been there, brother. I've been there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, so where did you stop for breakfast? Taco Bell. It's like pretty much across the street. So I went okay. to stop the clock there for fairness. But yeah, it was about hour 45-ish. You live 40 miles closer to the city than me, and it takes you longer than me every day. It does. I tried driving in last week, and it was just as long. How? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm driving how? past you. <laughs> it's like different routes. You know this. Yeah, You're avoiding I- like the traffic street, and I would have to go down that. It takes me an hour and 20 every day. Yeah, yeah. I, I should be about that. I had a, a small snafu today. It was raining. I made a wrong turn. I'll be good. I'll say I, it. I, got, I don't. You got to just figure out a way to get in and stop talking about it. You should make a series I, out of it. Oh, you could do that. Or, okay. or, or, yeah, yeah, or talk. Or the verse of what Either that'd be yeah. Or do the exact opposite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just make it a whole series. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, That's I would love that idea that what I just Pretty said. much is. If it was a one-episode special, it'd be... Done like a fart in the wind, but now, now cool. it has staying power. Yeah, yeah. everyone fun. wants to. What are you going to call it? See the commute. Yeah, I don't know, but it's like a <laughs> fart in an elevator now. You're just can't. Maybe it's just all the commute to a fart. It's the most relevant thing. It's true. What's worse than being in traffic? Watching another man be in traffic. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's the perfect thing to watch while <laughs> yeah. you're stuck in traffic. Live stream your traffic. Yeah. The commute, a Stephen Chase story. Yeah, I did get a good tip today, but the uh, my train was an express. I didn't make the stop, so I'll have to try that out next time. What was the tip? Are you soliciting tips? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I'm taking advice. Got it. And what was the tip? Get off at like irving i think and then get on a l oh, okay but it didn't stop there i don't like that people are actually giving you real tips it doesn't seem no like yeah working. yeah they're helpful i know i need people to give you fake tips can i tell you something i've been awake since 2 30 today why and um Steven, that's horrible why yeah i just got woken up by something and then i just started thinking about football and then other stuff <laughs> what did you get woken up by there was a um a thunderstorm last night mm-hmm. oh okay that's true uh-huh. yeah. so i was thinking What's the smallest like bug? Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Nah, okay. I don't want to. I don't okay. want to. Oh, right the no, smallest I mean, here bug. Go. Here we yes, go. Like the small. Oh wait, bug. just smallest bug. That was the end of this question. Oh. That was no, the no, question. No, no, no. no, no that, that's that's to start. I didn't actually you were up since two thirty pondering what's the <laughs> smallest no, no, no. bug. But if you're the smallest bug, like what do bugs do when it rains really hard? Drown. Like you can find right. So if you're if you're the tiniest bug in the world and you're in a driveway. And it starts raining real hard. What no. are you at? Do you, what are if you, you get, if you get hit, let him cook. Wait, wait, wait. Do bugs breathe? Yeah. Oh, what do you, oh, oh that's breathe. worse than what he said. Wait, do bugs breathe? They're not yeah. the same as us. They're not. Oh, that's true. They're not mammals, are they? No. Well, they're no, insects. They're... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, but no. Oh, this is going to get really they... good. But Where are it... the lungs fitting? Oh, my God. Tiny. But if a bug gets hit by a big raindrop, that's like <laughs> 10 times the size of it. <laughs> The Does bug die instantly? Yeah. No, but, they're sturdier. It's like how an no, ant can lift they don't up have a... Sim- they don't have similar they're anatomy. Different. As well. An they're ant can different. lift up like 50 times its weight so it can so it can survive a raindrop, too. They're built different, right? They're... I don't know. I think it would go splat. Like Wait, you... why were you... Oh, you were... I'm not going to be sleeping tonight. 2.30 <laughs> in the morning, you were thinking about It was this? raining pretty hard, and I was like, but man, what about those bugs? So wouldn't one thunderstorm just wipe out every insect? In a no, river. because some are covered. Like, they're not all out in the middle of the driveway. Oh, so the ones that prepare. Okay. Yeah. Like the, the rich bugs. The bugs the that have, driveway. like... How many bugs are in the middle of the driveway? Most are underground. Most are... Most, yeah, but some... Then they die. Bug. No, they Or they live. They go with the flow. But wouldn't, like, you have, like, your ant farm situation underground where they have their whole colonies and everything wouldn't the water like wipe them all out in your scenario like don't wouldn't 
like this would be so i'm sure they could die by other dyes yeah but i'm I'm just wondering if a bug can get killed by the impact of a raindrop i'm saying if water no No, i don't know you can dump a a whole bucket of pail of water on a bug yeah no and scurry away. Yeah, they'll yeah. just like swim on the top. Like yeah. ants just yeah. like float on the top. Are you thinking ant or much smaller, smaller than an ant? Dust What's light? smaller than an ant? Those are. I then know. I think the water. If there's so- my ass. A yeah. gnat? Bugs are very good at surviving. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah, the world is stacked against the bugs. If- All right. I guess I wasted my whole morning. You did. Yeah. You you should, don't, what I would have done. Pretend like you spent hours on that. I, I, I actually might. He about. might have. Why didn't you just l- Google? Uh, I was like really late. I was in my bed with my wife. I didn't want to wake her up by going on my phone. So I just you could have googled for five it. seconds and then gone you, right back to sleep. How long did you lay in the bed you, thinking about that, dude? I've, I've been up since two thirty. <laughs> you literally are the meme. Like I bet, I bet he's thinking of other working, girls. I like started doing stuff at like five forty-five, but like you know, I was thinking about that, then thinking about football, and then upcoming weeks and. You know, it's a whole cycle. And then back to the bugs. Back yeah, bugs. you you are the meme. Uh, he, I bet he's thinking about other girls, and it's just a thought bubble of. Does, <laughs> yeah. Does an ant die because a raindrop hits it? Not even. An what ant, even is that? Way thought? smaller. All right. Wait so too long didn't read. Yeah. yeah, read it, Stephen. I feel like that's obvious. TLDR depends on the insect. Some wait for the storm to pass. Some don't go out at all. Some just dodge the raindrops. What? Or escape them. <laughs> And others specifically wait for the rain to get their funk on? (laughs) Also, as a short aside, there's also lots of insects that just live in water, which, in this case, the rain doesn't really affect them. Isn't this a scene from uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Like, they're in the backyard, they're with all the ants, and the sprinklers Uh, go off? Yeah. Right? Uh, Didn't we answer this in the... And then Rick Moranis got punched in the face randomly by a dude in New York City. He was, like, just about to make his comeback, right? Yeah. Because he actually is, like, a really great story, right? Like, his, I think his wife got sick, and he quit his acting career to take care of his kids. That's right. Yeah. Like, that, he was at the height of his that fame. That punch fucked him up. He did get punched yeah. by a random guy. That's insane. I think we have He didn't the, even do anything. It's like the yeah. saddest thing like in the world. Like a gang initiated. Like, yeah. He really was in, like, every movie between 86 and 90, and then it was just over. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it was, uh, he, it was over because of his doing. Yeah. Uh... uh. Uh, what? Like, I don't think he, like, well, Hollywood just stopped calling him. I think his he last decided... movie was, uh, he did Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and he did Parenthood. Wait, well, he... there was a few honeys. He did Honey, I Blew well, Up the Kids. I remember yeah. watching him in the, in yeah. the movie theater, blowing Honey, we shrunk ourselves. Uh, oh, yeah. Little Giants was he in? Yeah. Yeah. Little Giants might have been the last yeah. one. That was, like, 95? What? You look up with Rick Moranis? That was 94. What a legend this guy is. Coached his daughter's football team. To a there's town no way, no. title over his Hall of Fame brother. Box. Well, unfortunately, there's You're no. Oh, the Goldbergs. So he's been one episode. Oh, uh. one episode. <laughs> Wait, so to... been right before. Okay, so he's got a so couple. Voice yeah. guy. Oh yeah, yeah voice act. Voice, voice acting. Voice, voice. It's all voice. This is all voice. I bet voice acting. Honey, we shrunk ourselves. 1997. Was the last one? It was one. Little Giants, TJ. His she would have to force him, right? After shrinking all this shit. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. It, it, the wife would, would not stand oh, the for being. It was him well, who kept shrinking. Yeah. He said 92. Yeah. Said 94. Honey, he said 92. Honey, yeah, stop said shrinking things. <laughs> <laughs> would your wife be mad at you if you shrunk her? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Suck, She'd die in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially. <laughs> yeah, what a weird... Who comes up with that movie? The movie was huge. I know. There was a lot of like miniature men <laughs> movies in that era. Yeah, Indian in the Cupboard. That oh, yeah. Small Soldiers. Small Soldiers, yeah. Small soldiers. <laughs> yeah. Small soldiers, yeah. <laughs> That was a good movie, though. I feel like. Yeah. Right? I, feel like I bet you. I bet you. If you watch it, you'd be like, "This shit. sucks." This sucks. Yeah. We should watch. Did they? Yeah, we should. I just remember thinking, like, this is so cool that they're the same size yeah, as the ants. I was ten when it came out. So was that make you like five? Was that one? no? Uh, I mean, there was multiple ones. You could also, right? Brandon. This yeah. you could also like watch movies later. Like you didn't have to like watch. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I saw any of the kids like, in the theater. Also... I think I saw the uh, later ones, but I remember watching it. Like for like for example like I've I've seen like Snow White and that didn't come that out came out nineteen thirty seven yeah and I wasn't I, just, you must I wasn't two hundred <laughs> years old. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the new Snow White, Titus? Mm. Uh, 
Oh, let me, let me Isn't that the movie? That they, the, uh, they must have her Samoans. muscle pretty good now because we haven't heard from her. Oh, she's so annoying. Yeah, she's still she's still flipping. The oh, that's right. That was that. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I usually think that like it's overblown. Snow White actress. When, yeah, when everyone freaks out about like a uh, who they cast, but she is a very annoying person. Yeah. Do we respect the honesty at all, though? Do we respect that like she's letting it rip at a time when every every interview? I don't know. I'm just no I'm advocate no, no, here no, that no. every interview is like PR stuffy, and she's like. Snow White fucking sucked. <laughs> yeah, no, she's no. I don't respect the honesty because okay. it's just a, annoying. Yeah, like it, like is it like Stephen Che annoys me? He's honest. I don't respect sure. his honesty. He's just annoying. <laughs> yeah, you know, like I think yeah. annoying trumps honesty. I respect your honesty when it's, you're not annoying. Yeah, I love when people say like uh, they use that as like a crutch when when they're just like really. They have no friends and they're assholes. Everyone's like, tell it how it is. I just tell it how it is. People <laughs> yeah. just can't handle can't, the truth. You just shouldn't be doing that. No. Yeah. There's some things you just don't have you to don't say, need. like on a red carpet, like Snow White is about rape, so we're deciding not to do it. Is it? That's what she. It's not, no. She what? said it was like a stalker. So she was like asleep and the prince came and kissed an asleep girl, right? That's saved her life. Saving beauty, right? Was that did save her that's that's obvious. Obvious. Beauty. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's when does beauty. the prince kiss her? How does. Wait. Snow White eats the apple eats the and dies. Snow White, Snow White eats the po poisonous apple and like oh, dies. The witch does it to her, right? Yeah, and then and the guy has to come, like, kiss her. Right? So that's CPR. So he kisses. Yeah. That's Samar Hamlin. Yeah. Kiss yeah. that girl. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But that's what like she that's, says it's rape, Hamlet, but like Snow White the same. He saved her life. Wait, what is Sleeping Beauty? That's Sleeping Beauty. It's he's, sort of the same movie. This is pissing people off so much right now. I love. Which one? Snow Are White is Snow White. She hung out with the Seven Dwarfs. So she, oh, terrible movie. By who does Sleeping Beauty hang out with? It is nobody. She's movie. asleep. She had three, uh, <laughs> the, the three uh, portly women. Oh yeah, the three little um, wait, yeah. fairies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now for is Sleeping fairies. Beauty just the same as Snow White? They're the same. They no. just both. They're the same. It's just women be tired. Why did Sleeping well, Beauty that's, sleep? Like Cinderella, he had to save her from being uh, being a maid. Yeah, but she didn't fall asleep. I'm saying like this is this is too. Two women that just the the bitch the Snow bitch White. in the woods was jealous of Snow White because she was beautiful. So she right. was like, "I'm gonna poison her, so I can be the most beautiful. Beauty, I can be the most it. fairest of all." Right? That was the Snow White mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah, yeah. 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 So she poisoned Snow White. If anything, it's apple. like a sorority story. Yeah, yeah. Like fuck right, her, right. she's so hot. I'm gonna fucking make her fat. Get mad at the dude apples. for <laughs> yeah, yeah. the apples. Yeah. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her Taco Bell every time we we get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's, they should remake that. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. yeah. Wait. So then we keep going. What happens? So then she like eats the You're apple. You've seen it here, right? I, I I actually did see it like a few months ago. What? Um, Why? I, the 1937 Why? version? I so before I left LA, I took my niece to to Disneyland and. Uh, it I don't know I and then you leave Disneyland and you're like that's that was, Disneyland's actually like a lot of fun and then I was like I should watch some of these because I haven't watched any Disney movies in ages so I started like watching the classics Snow White was dog shit um, yeah it's a very bad movie it's just like very boring based but, on like the era like the 30s yeah or I don't mean I don't mean I don't mean like yeah like the, I don't not for the reasons this it was a Marvel when was, it came out yeah like it was the first full length animated like thing. color and yeah. color as well yeah but it's. It's it's terrible now, but yeah, I think then she eats the apple, right? And then she's like, she moves in with seven messy men, and she's like, "Let me cook and clean for you and fix your life." Yeah, being a woman. And yeah, it was empowering. And then the prince has to kiss her or, or something to wake her up. This this kind of hits all the notes. Like I I think this movie rocks. Yeah. Wait, and then and then what did the woman uh, say who's playing the new Snow White? She's like the guy's kind of a stalker. Yeah. Yeah. The prince who saves her. Yeah, which yeah. like he it's saved like, her life. He's made a face. It's kind of weird, right? Kind of weird, right? Can you find that clip, TJ? It. It's infuriating. Yeah. Weird, right? Put it on a burner if you have to. Oh fuck! I should have said that. God damn it! Mm. If you yeah, guys fucked. If you guys had like a modern day Snow White situation where there's like nobody really in the street and you see someone that needs CPR, would you I administer don't know CPR? That? I mean, yeah, I kind of do. I would. Blast. I would take a good look. Everybody kind of knows CPR. I second. don't want at all. I don't think at all. Like you have my... no idea what to do. No, the thing you do in that situation is you try to be the guy who's like right behind the guy who's. Right. Like, I'll make sure everyone stays out of the way. Yeah. You at least pump on the chest that a couple guy. times, right? Yeah. yeah. Do the chest. But I wouldn't. Do, you're supposed to like break the sternum. Yeah. You. You yeah. got to be the guy who's like, someone comes and knows CPR. You're like, tell me what to do. What do you need my help? Yeah. With? 
You want to put his feet up above? But what him? if he says, "You be the mouth guy, I'll be the chest guy." <laughs> oh, mouth guy gets all the praise. Yeah, rock paper scissors shoot. And we still talking about CPR? Brandon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you be the mouth guy. <laughs> I'll be the chest guy. <laughs> you never want to be the guy who's taking control of the situation. You want to be the helper. Mm-hmm. I want to be the guy that shows up right after the situation has been resolved. I was like, how can I help? I, yeah. And I want the glory. Like, we good? Are we good? I, I got here as soon as I could. Or like, do the ch- be like the traffic guy. Like, let me get in yeah. Let me get in the way and make sure no one walks through this. Brandon, you want the glory so much, so much you'd kiss a dude's mouth and, like, breathe in their mouth? If he was oh. dying? This is saving his dying. life. Yeah. life. <laughs> this isn't my... Steven, it's not gay when you're trying to save a man's <laughs> life. Dude, if Brandon's yeah, so. saving a life and Chase is like, gay? Yeah. <laughs> Guy's having a heart attack and he's like, pause. <laughs> no thanks, bro. Nice try. <laughs> well, yeah, I had a situation. Uh, my girlfriend's dad was visiting us a couple weeks ago. We went to Gibson's, the steakhouse, you know, and the uh, uh, choke. He choked. He did at the table. It was Your it was father in law. It was fucking. I'd be sick. And I. Pissed. I absolutely froze. I was. I did exactly what I said. I was really good at like after the situation resolved. I was like, "Is there anything I can do?" Or I, I picked up the tab, which I felt like okay. was, <laughs> I was like, "I'll take care of the tab." Um, but he he was like talking, and he had it was funny because he he wanted the prime rib. First of all, he said he was going to uh, he was going to treat us. He's like, "It'll be my treat." We go to Gibson's, and he looks at the menu, and he's like, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> and you see you see him doing the calculations in his head. The prime rib was the cheapest thing, so he tries to order that. The waiter says, don't get that. That's bad here. Like, the waiter just straight up is like, do not eat okay. that. But he's like, I don't want to pay for more steaks. So he's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll with the prime rib. He gets the prime rib, and then, like, every bite he's taking, he's like, <laughs> you know, just kind of like that. And then, like, hitting himself and then swallows. And then, he, but he, he kind of... It was kind of, sort of like a boy cried wolf situation because he did that so often that I just thought like he was he had figured <laughs> it out. Ridiculous. I figured out right. that was like part of his, yeah. that that's part of his routine. And then by like number five, he's just like, and then uh, my girlfriend's like, "Are you okay?" And he's like, "No," but he's still kind of casual with it, just kind of hitting his chest. And she's like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" He's like, "No," just kind of like, "No, I'm not. I can't really breathe." Literally, like the, I think he's um, leaves sketch. Sketch. How many people die because they're like too cool to? be choking in him. Yeah. yeah. That's how he was kind of like, nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm really not. Um, so what happened? She hops up, like tries to get behind him, has no idea how to do the Heimlich. She she's behind kinda, him? So she starts just yelling, like, can I get some help? The waiter, the yelling? coolest motherfucker, like this, this waiter is like a 70 year old black dude. That's just like, a, he comes out with the cuts of meat and he's just got this whole like song and dance. So it's just like, it's like this guy's the coolest fucking guy. The waiter's like, we're helping another table and just turns around and looks, he's like, Give me a second, and just walks over. This is probably every one thrust yeah. spits out all the prime rib, and then what? Yeah, I swear to God, and I, I'm sitting there just like I thought it was like he got he got it out himself. Did he look at your father-in-law and just, was he like uh, told you? Yeah, he, did. he literally <laughs> did. He literally did. No, he goes, he goes, uh, he goes. I tried to tell you, and then like, <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, so and, uh, Holy, I, shit. Holy shit! So then it was as you know, the rest of the dinner was super awkward. We're just kind of like sitting there, like like you know, he he actually was like kind of fine. He was just like this is really embarrassing um he's like i'm done eating obviously um i don't know if that's obvious yeah no i would not be but he's he's, <laughs> he's done eating well no he was like done eating the steak he was like he, he put his he wasn't like, like he threw in the towel yeah he threw there, it, was, he put more steak. <laughs> yeah, th- there was way uh, more steak and he just put the plain lady got back did you see the rest of that no it was a woman and she ended up getting back on the same plane as everybody else and going no. to no yeah yeah <laughs> so i uh Damn. so the bill comes and i'm like i'll i'll pick up the tech because i could tell that he was sweating the the you know paying for the meal anyway so i was like this is you almost died i'll i'll get the tab and then as i'm looking at the tip line i'm like what is appropriate for this for the waiter <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just oh, yeah. Yeah. you've got to do a thousand dollars i was yeah. like what do i do here <laughs> um Holy i ended up giving him like a hundred extra dollars i think was yeah what I that's fair. i did like uh, I, I I figured out what the tip was, and then I added a hundred bucks to it. And... Was it so serious that you couldn't joke about it after? Um, yeah, you got to joke. Yeah, you got to like. If I were you, you I would have started cutting so... up his steak for him. Being well, like, I did. I tried to. Again. I tried to break it up. Like on the drive home, I was like, you know, I kind of did the other and that, Mrs. Lincoln. How was the play type deal? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, I thought the the bread was pretty good though, right? You know, like the. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he was cool about it. Um, the worst part, though, we get home. My girlfriend's like traumatized by it. She immediately looks up CPR classes because she's like, I. She goes, if, if the waiter wasn't there, 
Um, I would have just watched my dad die right in front of me. Well, the, another waiter. I, I know like all waiters are trained. Also, that's not CPR. Yeah. Well, that's oh, the thing. That's down. Oh, that's yeah. the yeah. thing. Yeah. Nick was. Uh, so I'm I'm not in a position yeah. to be like we're not doing this. I'm like, I got whatever you want. She signed me up for a CPR class. <laughs> Um, this is insane. Cause she's just she's like a, she, you know she's traumatized. So she's like I want to be able to take care of situations like this. Um, we signed her for the class. It's like a class for like people that like need to be fucking certified for their jobs. Yeah, like, yeah, a class yeah, for yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actual so, first uh, we get like the, we get like the the, the uh, it was a three hour class. Well, you went like, to the class? I did not go. Okay, because right. it's a three hour itinerary. Um, and and I'm reading through it. And I'm like, listen, I we're gonna show up and they're gonna be like, what line of work are you in? And everyone's like, I want to be an EMT or I'm like a you know like a kindergarten teacher and I need this for. You're like poorly chewing. Cho- <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you like yeah. Yeah. scarf. I'm like yeah. I'm a sports yeah. podcaster. Yeah. <laughs> um, they made us watch like a bunch of videos before we go to the class, and she basically was like watching the videos, and she it was like how to like. <laughs> she was like, if you get impaled in the eye, you can fix it. She, she what uh, was one of the video? It was just like all these videos that had nothing to do with like what she actually wanted. So we just basically bailed, and we Holy wasted like three hundred dollars on trip. Oh my god. So anyway, I'm trying to think of the a, etiquette for that situation. It was as fucking the wild. Choker. What post choking as the choker? As the, was he like smug it. about it? Like that what was the stakes fault? No, he was he was very very embarrassed. He was very much yeah. like I yeah. like this was my biggest moment of weakness. I almost died because of a you know a piece of right. steak. Um, and he he was very embarrassed. And I I don't know. I tried to, but I I do I very much was like the guy that was just sitting there just like, fuck this sucks. What do I you know what do I do? And then as soon as, like, the situation had been resolved, I was like, holy shit. Anything I can do? <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. I would have kept eating. Oh, I got, I got dessert. I got the big ass, like, <laughs> pie. Yeah. The... Get him, like, applesauce for dessert. <laughs> yeah. Hey, just try this. <laughs> Slow down with yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Straw. I actually don't know if I was authorized to tell that story. Uh, that's okay. But we, can, we can cut that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just cut all that. I bet, all, like, uh, steak restaurants... I bet they make their staff go yes. through like. Oh, and- that's what the, the guy was so smooth. I was like, yeah. this guy has done this before. I bet this you could guy- have done a tracheotomy if he had. Yeah. He did yeah, the I move bet. where he, the Heimlich. Yeah, li- and it was literally one thrust. One thrust. It once. He, he was laying on the like table. A- he had his back to us. Like my girlfriend's losing her mind. She's like, can somebody help? Somebody help? And, and he just turns around. He's like, oh Heimlich. He said Heimlich out loud. I that. He goes, <laughs> oh Heimlich. <laughs> he gets behind him, one thrust, and he just spit it out. And he was, and he was like, you good? Where did he spit it out? Yeah, where did the all on the plate go? Oh, right back on. It wasn't. It wasn't like a. It wasn't like a. You know, like a sitcom situation where it shot across. It the didn't room. land. Right. Yeah, He's kind of like dribbled yeah. down his chin and like onto the plate, and it was. Oh, yeah. Holy shit! What a maneuver! Anyway, yeah, I'd never seen it before. Oh. That was like three weeks ago. I want to say. Yeah. And you kind of, you kind of alphaed your yeah. your girlfriend's dad. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't choke. I did not like, choke. Like every single bite could be like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm, mm. This is so good I could just swallow it whole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to try this. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, the ch- I I mean a tracheotomy the the one when they cut the neck and then use a use a, a straw. Pen. It's like a pen, yeah. right? Yeah. That's badass. What is that for exactly? It's like if people can't. That's for that. If there's lodged like a It's lodged in there if it's stuck. You can go below. Yeah. So if that situation what do they do? They shovel didn't come out, neck, they get they stabbed. They cut with your, right where your windpipe is so that you can breathe through your wind. Like, Did J-Lo like do it to her here. boyfriend in Anaconda? Oh, Maybe. Oh, I think, I think she did. They did it in Scrubs. They didn't Scrubs. Kirk did it in the line at the food truck. Okay. Do you yeah. are you a big Scrubs guy? Huge Scrubs guy. Oh. It's my th- it's my third favorite show. What's number one? Office. Office is two. Okay. What's number one? Morning Cosby. Sunshine. Cosby yes. Show. Oh, yeah. Mostly sports. <laughs> oh yeah, the Cosby, Cosby show. Show's yeah, my all time yeah, favorite. Yeah. Yes. And then the Office and then the Scrubs. Mostly sports is a cult classic, man. I wish it went on. I wish it went on longer. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, a freaks not, and geeks situation. Let's not put that in the in, in the air already. You are attending high school football games. I am. I love I that. Is this a team that like? Is it? Does your daughter go to the school? She does. Oh, that's. Yeah, I'm taking her. Yeah, she's I hang- thought you were. No, she's hanging out with her friends, and I don't want to leave her, so I just stay at the game and watch the game. Do you hawk over her? Do you like? No, I don't. I, I let her do her own thing. She good goes. Good team. Uh, very good team. Very good team. Hmm. So, we were up 
42 nothing the other night and the other I had that video with the other team going crazy but I like I like going to, fan, uh, to high school football games. What's going on here? Uh, they're partying to uh, Miley Cyrus partying the USA is playing. And they're down that student section's down 42 to nothing and I was impressed by their moxie so I <laughs> Good moxie. So I put it Great out. Moxie. Well the moxie hasn't even started yet. Hold on. What? The, here's comes the moxie right here. Wait. Moxie. Moxie. Oh, That's the moxie? Okay. Yep. In spades. Oh, wait, the end, the fat guy, the number 68 starts dancing. Right there, the guy doing that. Wait. And he's on one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to spend a Friday night. Oh. I love it. Yeah. I love going to high school football games. I remember my high school had a, like a group of old timers that had didn't have any kids there that would go and like, yeah. sit in the top. And oh, I, I've it. gone to my, my high school in West Point for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, I'm a loser. It took you that long to do high school? No. no it took <laughs> <seven>. <laughs> um, by the way, high noon. Oh, no, oh. you need to do high noon. Yeah. I can't do high noon. Grab a water. It's time to load up on the ice and break out the oversized long games because high noon game day pack is back. It includes limited edition faves, pear, and cranberry, along with black cherry and grapefruit made with real vodka, real juice. It's just 100 calories and gluten-free with no added sugar. The high noon game day pack is a fall exclusive, which means it's here for a good time, not a long time. Visit highnoonspirits.com before your next tailgate and find a pack near you. Hyden's the best. Wait, so the diarrhea person was a woman? This, so I I only know this because I watched a TikTok where <sighs> Will Ferrell surprised a very small comedy club this weekend. He was in town for a soccer game somewhere in like Portland. Okay. And he saw a sign for an open mic. And so he, the clip is, they're like, up next, Will Ferrell. And the crowd's like, they don't realize. And then it's actually Will Ferrell. And everyone's like, holy shit. And he's like, I saw the sign out here tonight. He's like, I'm not really a stand-up guy, but I thought I'd try it out. And he does a whole bit about the Portugal plane pooper. And he's like, and then he says that it turns out in the news announced it was a woman. They cleaned the plane and then everybody got back on the plane, including the pooper. And she got to go back. Is so there... I'm taking this off of Will. Okay. Ferrell's all right. So is this play. actually the truth? But I'm pretty sure. That's that, a that's... bold move to show. I don't know the story yet. Hold on. You saw the pooper story. No. What? Oh. Oh. We well, did a whole show about it. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, it's That's okay. okay. <laughs> um, it was a flight going from Atlanta to Barcelona, and they had to, they were in the air, and they had to turn around, look, and come back because oh my someone God. had diarrhea all over the plane. Oh, my God. Yeah. Biohazard. Sorry if you guys oh, have already well, talked about yeah. all of this, but like, what? How? How do we think that happened? Did they? I think. Well, I shit her I, pants and tried to walk to the bathroom, and it just like. Yeah, I think down she just the started leg. the shit, and then like maybe wearing shorts. Yeah, the fact that it's a woman has me fucked up because <laughs> it was like the, women don't poop, the, right? Women not. don't poop. He, was, that wasn't like part of his joke. He was saying that like it was part of the story was that that's how it ended up. Like he wasn't that wasn't even part. Oh, of Oh, you're the taking joke. that from a bit from a, a bit. Median... <laughs> so you don't know? Did you do any follow up? I I'm trying to Google it now, but I just okay. took it for word. But a bit, but the. That wasn't the point of his joke. He was saying that part is like that's matter of factly part of the news story. Got blah, it. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is how I get my news. <laughs> this is, don't that's a me. fair way. But how would Will Agreed. Ferrell have gotten yeah. the news in this case? That's I'm trying to figure. Let me do a little. All right, okay, you find, work. find the story. Yeah, it was crazy, Kyle. Just that. Yeah, that's just heartbreaking. Is it? I think it's funny more than heartbreaking. It's both. But I mean that to be that person. Yeah, what's worse, being that person? The fact being... that she had the nuts to get back on the Someone plane else. around all those Allegedly. People. Okay. Allegedly. <laughs> if she did, though, if they cleaned the plane, she's like, all right, well, I'm ready to go now. I got all the shit out of it. Yeah, me. more power to her. I mean, it's kind of like lightning, right? Like, she's not going to diarrhea like that again. You'd think. No. Yeah, statistically, she's she the, good. Mo the least likely to die. Diarrhea, right. Yeah. At least to that volume. Although she does have yeah. diarrheal tendencies now. So it's on her <laughs> she's in the middle of diarrhea. It's on her scouting scouting report. report, yeah. yeah. Would you rather have a little diarrhea in front of friends in your pants or choke in front of your friends? Like I would rather. I think I'd rather diarrhea. No. I would much rather choke. Choke. Choking is. Oh, no. An accident. Diarrhea is. Diarrhea. You're also, shitting yourself. You're not doing it on purpose. Diarrhea is diarrhea. always an accident. It's yeah, literally called an accident. That's a great question. You'd rather. I actually <laughs> think it's diarrhea. I think it's a good question. No. Yeah. No, it's, it's definitely. I choke. think it choking is terrifying. It's yeah. Terrifying, yeah. but like. 
Oh, so, are you being saved? Assuming it? you're going to be yes, yes, you're, you're saved. Choking. But then you have to like. Oh, if they're your close friends, I don't care if I poop in front of them. Exactly. Yeah. If you have diarrhea in your pants in front of your friends, that's, that's funny. Night, yeah, we've that's... seen his poop before. Yeah. And it's like whatever, but <laughs> right. We have. Yeah. If you before if if you choke in front of your friends, they'll call you a bitch. But if right. you have diarrhea, they're like, that's pretty funny. Yeah, you went hard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you, you go so hard, you poop your pants. God, I can't yeah. believe I've been swayed. Yeah. Good like, question, Steve. Right. Y'all are nuts, man. Well, no, why are we nuts? What a, what? You'd rather have die. The option is always. In front of strangers, I would rather choke. Yes. Than diarrhea. But friends, in front of my diarrhea. friends. They will never let you live it down ever. But that's funny. You come there's just like, yeah, shit. Okay. Me. No, wait. I've diarrhea in front of my friends. It, right. It's funny. When you're when you're like in high school and college, if you're like there are dudes like voluntarily diary and in front of their friends. <laughs> yeah. No one's like yeah. voluntarily yeah. choking. Yeah. You guys no are one's yeah. like yeah. guys watch this. Shit themselves? Yeah, like watch. Flipping. Yeah, I'm gonna shit myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's like, watch, watch, I'm gonna eat a piece of meat and choke mm-hmm. on it and almost die. Watch yeah. all this with me. <laughs> well that was a trend on YouTube for a while. Was remember Cannonball Dookie is one of my favorite videos of all time. Oh yeah. But guys like r- like Climbing up in a tree and poop like oh yeah down or like jumping off a dock and the yeah. poop flies that shit's out funny hit the water that's funny I don't know if I could make myself funny. do that though Brandon that's if funny. we were all out to eat and you had a little poop in your pants we would forget about it we would probably almost expect that if you <laughs> we wouldn't choked we would never forget it and you would get those jokes forever i'd never no. be able to be able to show you're wrong about that he would have to quit his job if he shit himself yes yeah. yeah. never... that is true. Yeah. I would never be able to be on the show again. I'd never be able to be in this company again. But you'd, you'd sort of be a... Jerry. It's a big difference. Yeah. He did, he also didn't shit around anybody. Like, he he, he was in control of that whole situation. Well. <laughs> Certainly not. Yeah. Well, I guess not. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. I don't, it's, it's, it's shit for us, Brandon. You just can't <laughs> make a mistake. Uh, uh, that's the life you've built. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah, well, no matter what, yeah, you're a lose lose. <laughs> well, Brandon chokes in front of his friends every year at the dozen tournament. So, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, oh. <sighs> damn! And he, you win this round. <laughs> yeah, well. Damn, pretty good. Are you getting nervous? Coming, the dozens coming back? No. Why not? Because I don't get nervous about the dozen until the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then when 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 the tournament comes around, I get nervous. The regular season, I don't get nervous for that. Got it. Because you know that you're you'll dominate the regular season. And then when well, the lights, you guys were right. the number one seed and choke before we did. I don't understand how Jeff does that. We've never we we've never been the best team. I, I I've told him. Dan's perfected like the United <laughs> States basketball approach to like international play, where like yeah. if, if he wins, he's like suck my dick. Well, we're never gonna win. You. We're never gonna win. And when you lose, you're just like I don't care. We're never gonna. I, win. I never cared about we're this never anyway. Win. <laughs> we're we're not good enough to win. That's a fact. Brandon, you should just become better friends with Jeff. Yeah, that's true. And start <laughs> writing the questions like Brandon. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's your show. It's yeah. your show. Oh, I I like to watch it. I like to hang out behind. Are you gonna Are you gonna catch one last fish before the weather that's turns? Right. I've been getting some DMs about how to do it. Uh, I got to get a cinco. Uh, and then I have to go between six and eight in the morning. Apparently, is there there early? Oh, that's perfect. You have nothing to do between six and eight. Well, I, if I get up a little <laughs> earlier, if I get up a little earlier, I'll be able to pull it off. So you're going to get up to fish and then commute? No, I think what I'll do is this is my plan. I, every day I'm going to wake up. I'm going to leave my house at six to come here. But on the weekends to keep my routine, I'll also wake up at six. I'll just go fishing instead. Is is waking up six going to like ruin you? Uh, you're a late sleeper. I I don't like it, but this is the this is the life. You know, people have, have chosen, to do worse yeah. for less. So yeah, I'm I'm good. Thank you for your service. Yeah, I just don't <laughs> call me a hero. All days, yeah. I got to link you up with my boy Skeet Reese, great fisher, great fisherman. Do you? No, you don't. You don't Is he from S- Wheeling? Skeet Reese. Yeah, I know Skeet Reese. Who's Skeet Reese? The bass professional man? bass oh. fisherman. Damn good. Why wouldn't you take him up on my two that? favorite I would love things? To. Skeet Reese. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what a name! I, I DM with a guy named Mike Iconelli that I wanted to go fishing with in Jersey, but I never, I never DM'd him back. So Skeet Reese makes real good bait. You'd love it. Skeet Reese? Yeah. Well, he doesn't make the bait; he just puts his name on the bait. Well, I'm sure he signs off on it. It's mm-hmm. good enough for Skeet. I'll get you some. 
That's a fish. Way to go. Oh, look at that. Skeet Reese guys. Although he's kind of holding it up too close to the camera. Like, no, that's the whole that's point. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. I know how to do it. Ugh. That's a. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, <laughs> zoom in again? <laughs> Relax. Hey, now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Steven, you like what you see? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> The Bears have to play the Bucks next Sunday, and I'm not looking forward to that oh, no. at all. They have to win. Because Steven, like... We will. Yeah, I mean, they, it, it's going to be terrible because if the Bucks win, Steven's going to just be so patronizing. Like, I like some of the things that you guys do. Yeah, you 100%. <laughs> yeah, like, you guys oh, show, you guys, you know, you keep, keep really with it, buddy. Down. Yeah. Keep keep trying to play that football, pal. Uh, oh, was, the last time... I think we played the last time we played in Soldier Field. Was that Mitch? Mitch Trubisky was there. Five or six. Six. Touchdowns? Six touchdowns. His greatest game ever. It was. So they're playing in Chicago? They're not. They're in they're Chicago. Not. Oh, okay. So it has nothing to do with what Steven said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just wondered if, if they were playing in Chicago, would you stream it or would you would you go? Stream it. We're here. Yeah. So, Company we're here. man. Shows discipline on your part. The Bucks come into town and you're not being able to go. Yep. He knows. So, so you have a Monday or Thursday night game you're going to this year? Um, we're Thursday against Buffalo, or Monday against Philly in week three. So, maybe. are you going? Maybe. We'll see. We got Roof Ball that weekend, so. Are you guys still going to Roof Ball? I hate that you directed that towards me. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It will be fun. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't know. I don't know. You're competing, though, Kyle, aren't you? Yeah, I feel like that. those guys, they take it serious. Well, what makes you think that? <laughs> the 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 twenty years like I, doing like it, you wouldn't, and, uh, like laugh. Yeah. <laughs> trophies. There wouldn't be like if I like did horribly, they would like be upset. Yeah, although no, they might just be like, "Good, we prove that we're the best at, at roof ball." Right. Like you I do. actually think they'd be pissed if you. You won. Yeah, we yeah, have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Everything. <laughs> even if you win, what do you do? <laughs> you have fantasized everything. about winning. It, what There's do I have to gain? Yeah, even if you yeah, win, if you win what do you gain? To gain? Roof everything. ball, U.S. Open champion, you would never be able to wake, country. take that away from me. I would have that forever. I would never. I would also probably never compete again. I might retire on the spot. That's a coward's move. I mean, we... John Elway. We... He competed for many years, and he also won a Super Bowl and didn't retire right. and came back and won another one. What did he do after that one? Right, but you... He didn't retire after the first one. He one literally one. defended yeah. his title. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll see. John Elway. <laughs> thought you did something there. I did, yeah. John Elway. Jerome Bettis. He was like 40 years old. I'm almost 40. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a fair point. <laughs> Fuck. Chase been stacking dubs. Chase going back in the booth when we open the new <laughs> office, just so everyone understands. This is temporary. How'd all the Soak data turn now. out? What's that? Like, how'd you do in the first week, data wise? Not great. Oh, oh, oh that's shocking. Can I talk about your bullshit fantasy football league? Oh yeah, we might as well. <laughs> the yeah. Oh yeah, don't we, don't <laughs> yeah. We, how did that go? Yeah. Yeah, none big, of us checked. I play yeah. Big Cat. I, I, I play Big Cat, and I have Christian McCaffrey. I have Justin Herbert. I got some guys that did pretty good. And I thought, okay, well, yay. Go down to my, my score, please. Um, it's All these are close matchups and, and everything, I guess. No. I guess oh, well, keep going. Why would he do that? Uh, there you go. Big Cat, 108 to, to 72. Big Cat has a kicker who kicked two 50-yard field goals, which are w worth 30 points each. So <laughs> <laughs> they drafted them. They're worth 30 points each. So nothing that any other player does matters. Not, uh, not maybe. No, not no, at all. Definitely not maybe. Not at all. My team sucked, and That's I had why, a kicker that kicked. Well, we did well, this. What happened? Go, 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 30? Go, <laughs> seven <laughs> points. Why the fuck are we doing that? <laughs> I had 22, 25, and 19. And then, uh, and I just lose because he has a kicker. My team sucks. How yeah. the fuck did you? That's not right. I think I was pretty clear about the scoring when we started. Wait, that, you uh, did this on purpose? Yeah, 50 yard field goals, 10x. So why didn't we just do a kicker league? <laughs> That's kind of I'm. Look fine. how bad my team was. Like Jamar Chase played one his worst game ever. Darren Waller, the Giants got absolutely pasted. Justin Fields sucked. Yeah, your top three guys are all on teams that were laughably bad. Yesterday. Yes. And then my kicker. And four, top four. Yeah, Waller. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't all your guys were guys. Huh? Yeah. You did have a guy who was out. We don't have a bench. I, don't, I can't do anything about that. <laughs> Two drops. 
I was using week one. He's not dropping Wait, Mark Andrews. Go back to it. Three. Three out of four of my position players, their teams didn't score a touchdown. <laughs> and I won by 20 points, 30 points. <laughs> <laughs> horrible. Kick two. The Bengals and the Giants combined for three total points. How much points. have to drive to Vegas because of this bullshit? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so this what league a, also uh, has no backups if you have a nope. buy or don't play? You can add, you can make two moves all season. This is maximum. You probably should have done a You move. could make zero. <laughs> for your tight end. It wouldn't have helped because you had a kicker. Wait, who, Nick, did you win? No. Did Kate win? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I spent all weekend working. Kate had tonight. such a good team. She, she's been tinkering. For Her sure. team was so good. No, wait. Uh, did Kate win? Yes, yes. I did. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, shit. Worth Doxing's ass. Wait. No, Kate. <laughs> That's yours, Kate? Yeah, 48. Yeah. 40, 40, 40. Oh, 48.17. 40, I was reading <laughs> Saz's. She still 100, has two 70. players left. Wait, Saz has 17. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Wait, his kicker hasn't gone. Ki- yet. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh-huh. uh, hit Kate's team real quick. She has two players left. Oh yeah, she has Josh Allen still going. Oh, oh but he's got he, Tyler Bass. And then tonight. what was what was uh, go back to? Oh fuck, he's got if he gets three <laughs> fifty yard field goal, he's gonna win. Yeah, that's true. What was? Uh, let me see Nick's matchup. Oh yeah, so Nick, Nick, you would have won with your team. Yes. Yes, you definitely would have won with your team with Josh Allen and four. Roster for roster swap. Oh, what no, happened. and you oh. turned it down? Mm-hmm. Fuck. I admit, you're a little bit intrigued by this. <laughs> I think it sucks. No, I, I'm yeah. not. Worst thing. <laughs> Genuinely, I didn't from the bottom know. of my heart, I think this sucks dick. <laughs> when you sent it to me, I didn't even realize, like, you're like, good win. <laughs> okay, I had to get in here, and Brandon was like, it's bullshit that your kicker scored 67 <laughs> points. 67 <laughs> points. What a beast. <laughs> For the team Did I even back. pick a kicker, or was I assigned one? It would have made more sense to just give, like, one point per yard kicked. Like, that feels like it would have yeah. made. Well, then I would have 100 sense. points. Yeah. Well, at least Brandon maybe Fucking would have. Crazy. <laughs> no, I still would have. I would have beaten him by more. Yeah, but if my guy had two 40-yard field goals, I would at least gotten 80 points. 80, yeah, it's yeah. true. What a league, Steven. Thank yeah, so yeah. forty nine yard field goal is like three. The NBA equivalent of like having your heels on the three point right. line. Yes. 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 It's like the worst <laughs> shot. <laughs> Except You're it's sc- no, because that's only one less point. Uh, yeah. This is like nine. <laughs> <Yeah. points. laughs> You're screaming at the TV, what are you doing? No. <laughs> oh man, you having to drive Frank to the Super Bowl just because you didn't draft a good kicker? I drafted <laughs> Justin Tucker. <laughs> Ooh. Again, you didn't draft a good kicker. Damn. Yeah, you'll with Justin Tucker. You'll get. I'll get a couple. You get the I'll benefit from wins. that. Yeah. yeah. Stephen, I hate, you're so he's so happy right now with the Bucks, the one and zero victory Mondays. I forgot how painful it is to be around him, and he thinks they're good. You do too. Well, that's not a part of my take today. <sighs> Fuck. You <laughs> don't. You can't. Yeah, well, that's not for you. I asked you. For, I don't. You don't get to listen to that. I asked anymore. you for picks the other night, and you did like the Bucks. It did, did. Uh, and I tried Browns, Cleveland Browns. Cleveland, yeah. Yeah, Brandon and I were in Tuscaloosa on Saturday. It was a good time. Roll tie Willie. Yeah, how was that? It was good. Can we talk about? Can we talk about Brandon? Uh, the line he's he dropped in there. What the, did he say? TJ. We don't have to. I, I'd like to keep that a secret from Dave or Dan. Oh, okay, was, okay, okay, okay. Which line? Okay. Um. Sorry, my no, bad. Play, my bad. You, you can play it. And you, you do not. Okay, my bad. All right. If you want to keep it a secret, no, they, I want like, to hear tweeted it. it out okay. from the Mostly Sports account. So, Jack McCarthy and Wait, e- I s- Okay, go ahead. Jack McCarthy and Ebo are, are scripting me a line every week to say. And what was and the And I line? have to say it. It was uh, when you guys were talking about Colorado, I was supposed to say either the glazing is insane right now. No, yeah, bro. you. I called that out when it oh, happened. Oh, yeah, the meat right I was like, what are you doing right now? <laughs> the meat writing is crazy. <laughs> I said I, that on the show. I had a little bro, Dave. The meat writing is crazy, little bro. I thought that was... Let's just cut to the chase. You said Colorado would be horrible. You said you're a college football That's not what expert. I said. That's you said Sherrod Sanders is horrible, and That's you're a joke. You've ruined your credibility. That's not what, what I said. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The meat riding is crazy, little bro. Listen. <laughs> yeah, you, that cuts off. I literally said it's like, Selling what did you So, wait, all of your other obligations are jokes to you now that mostly sports started? <laughs> um, playing games? Well, I hmm? Nothing. No, you're fine. <laughs> well, I, your Wikipedia now says that you... You're in the notable alums of your high school because you're the host of wrestling. Yeah. 
And <laughs> the uh, I, Are you I really? said that they put me on notable alumni page. Oh Mr. my Ross. god! Who else is in that? So crop? so the thing about Wheeling Park, it's that's the same school you went to. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm in there. I didn't. I got snubbed from the Hall of Fame. You didn't make the Wheeling. Park? I thought I was going to get it, and then you won two seats. The, the most recent um, additions were people younger than me. So oh, so you are you, you done? Think it's over. Yeah, no one, no one email or call them. I didn't know you won two <laughs> state championships. Do you think you're back. on like, the ballot and you keep getting voted? Like you're like an MLB guy that's like know. just <laughs> not quite getting enough votes every year. And this is your last. Don't don't. Isn't that how the ML the baseball Hall of Fame is? Like this is his last. Yeah, they, they take you off the ballot after yeah. a while, which is so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, there I yeah, am. This is the <laughs> host of wrestling. I love that. Good for you. What was Rob Garrison in? Uh, karate Kid. Oh. oh, I just got to die. Wow. In Who's Karate Kid or in real life? life? Uh, I'm gonna bite my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, there's no Michael room. Grove. We got Amy legit. Schuler Goodwin, the mayor of Charleston, on there, dude. <laughs> you don't have. Why aren't you blue? I don't have my own page. Uh, so wait, you're gonna do this? I just I'm confused. You're gonna do a, a line every single week? The they they gave me the line said say say this say something about the meat, meat riding. riding is crazy little bro. <laughs> you should have that is pretty. You it's not gonna be the same line every week. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty funny when I saw that. I I definitely uh, yeah, the, the fact that it's coming out of your. But you didn't slip it by me because I I pointed to you. I was like, what did you just say? <laughs> On the air. I don't remember that, but I I blacked out by that. Point. There's one like that's a line where you could squeeze in. Like that was topical. It made sense that you said it there. So, you need a line that makes no fucking sense. Za Zaz, Zaz's mad at me. Why? Because um, after the show, you know, I stay back and usually just shake hands and thank people for coming. I'm a great guy. But I, I was wait. I was, so does everyone. I was shaking hands, and I was, I was, uh, and uh, this young lady came up to me, and she, uh, she was a dwarf. And that's okay. What she said she said, "I love Za. Tell Za, you guys are great. I love the fact that you guys are dwarf friendly." She was a little blonde. Uh, well, who oh, is a little? It? Uh, it was, <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. What, are there what conglomerates that aren't? <laughs> uh, Fuck them. Was, was, yeah, if I'm an anti dwarf company. I'm going there. She, she said, You guys, Maybe I love you. Orcs from Lord of the Rings. I love Za. And she was a blonde hair. She was, had blonde hair and she shook my hand. She took a picture of me and she said, She said, Just tell Za. I said, Hey. And Za's right. I should have got her at for him. Or her. Yeah, what yeah uh, that's a like no brainer. I didn't even think about it. I didn't. So that's if, you're, a huge if you're out there and you're watching, know that me and you talked and. Go ahead and DMs I right now. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, white girls. <laughs> no. Alabama has some very attractive ladies. They did. Mm -hmm. That campus is crazy. <laughs> did you see the like the, the squad of freshmen? Walking <laughs> yes. In the building? Yeah. yeah. Did they? They looked like they were twelve. Yeah. They did. They did. Uh, is that just a southern thing where you think that looks good when you're like 18 or 19 years old? Because when I was 18 I think or 19, that's just a, I wore a polo shirt with tucked into khakis, too. I think that's just a college, like, college kids all dress alike. Yeah. yeah. In the South. Yeah. That's normal. They don't dress yeah. like that at, at Ball State, do they? They don't dress like that no. at Central Michigan. No. Frat no. boys, though? Yeah. I don't think Frat so. Boys no. The boat shoes, khakis. Not anymore. No. And when no. you were, yeah. not, in the not, South, it's 100% across the board. No. Yeah. Right. And they didn't even, it wasn't even like sharp looking though. They all look kind of They're all anyway. wrinkly and yeah. They, all, yeah. they did all look like their moms dressed them. Yeah. There were a couple of sharp ones in there. I also saw someone reply to it being like, it's going to break all the Northeast bros' minds that all these guys are going to marry eight pluses and get, yeah. make like $150,000 a year working for SunTrust. I was like, oh yeah, I guess yeah. that sounds like yeah. a pretty good life. Yeah. Like, Okay. Yeah. Damn. Broke my mom. Broke my got him. Yeah. I was like, okay. A lot of a lot of couples here in Chicago. Yeah. A lot of what does that mean? People. Uh -oh. A lot Dating? of when I walk around my building, everyone's in a relationship. Oh. Everyone's with their significant other. Is that different? Yeah. What's what? <laughs> what's the matter with that? There's nothing. I just is an observation. Chicago differences compared to New York. Oh, a lot yeah, more singles lot more. in New York? Yeah, which might be a New York thing. I do see a lot more couples walking their dogs here. Yeah. A lot of couple dog walking. More dogs. Yeah. 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 Huh. I got to be on the lookout for that. Yeah, we should go find What's some the best couples. Dog? <laughs> Try to break them up. What's the best <laughs> dog y'all have seen out here? 
I saw a cute one. Dogs. I saw a pretty cute one this morning. I saw a basset hound. Me and Kyle saw a basset hound. Yeah. I like the way they that, that, that noise they make. Where did you see a basset hound? You were with us. We were walking back from Wrigley. You missed a basset hound. That was fun going to the Cubs game. We went to like the worst game ever, but it was worst game fun. ever. Yeah, dual dual no hitters going in the through five. Game. Yeah, so, well, I was so excited about that. And Stephen Che talking shit to Tommy Pham, who was like actually responding to Stephen Che. I was getting like I, that shit makes me like anxious, and I couldn't even look by the time because I felt like he was getting kind of mad. No, he was. Oh, yeah. yeah, like he was like, cool. and Stephen was yelling. He was like, "You probably draft two running backs in the first two rounds," and Tommy Pham was like, "What?" <laughs> Yeah, my, my second chirped him was a lot better. Tommy, you got a lot in common with my TV. 4K. That one you didn't say with enough gusto. <laughs> yeah. You had one where he did actually turn around. And he, like, said something. You said it like you wanted it, you wanted it loud enough for all of us in the camera. To yeah, hear right. It, for, not for him to hear it. Right. Oh, no, I, I tried to have him hear it. It just that seemed one. that way. It seemed a little... It, it yeah. wasn't... It wasn't that loud. And Zah got a foul no. ball again? Yeah, he got a foul How? ball. How? Yeah, I missed that. What? Two for two. Well, wow. <laughs> and also the ball boy gave it to me. Uh, I was that was that was for, assaulting. I was close. That was pretty insane, though, because yeah. you uh, you switched seats with Brandon because the Cubs were getting no hit, and you were like, we got a or close to it. They're getting shut out, and, and you kicked Brandon out of the seat, and you said, let's change the vibes. You sit down. The ball boy recognized you for the Diamondbacks, and you immediately were like, give me a ball. We need a ball, basically. Like the very next pitch. Yeah. That guy, it popped up in the air, like got batted around, and that ball boy ended up with it. Right in his hand. Yeah, right in his hand. Yeah. Did that you was pretty wild. Tron? Were you up on the Tron? No, they didn't put us on the Tron. No, Shit. Tron. no. Stephen Shea was yelling at Mike Napoli like they were like, Kyle actually turned to him and was like, Did you guys like go to high school together or something? Because they had never met. Stephen Shea was just like, Nap, way to coach him up. Yeah. Way to coach him up, Nap. We were right near him. Yeah. It was a very, it was a Stephen, I mean, the, the peanuts are, people missed it. Stephen Shea, I offered him peanuts, and he's like, where do I put the shells at a baseball game? I've never had peanuts at a game before. I feel like that's a courteous that's, thing. We're like outside. Peanuts across the board thing. Restaurants. Yeah, peanuts, you can just, there's yeah. bars that you can eat peanuts and just throw it on the ground. Toss them right on the ground. Yeah, I have to those. Yeah. It you seems to a chain restaurant that doesn't? Uh, Doesn't like, Five Guys get Texas the, Roadhouse? Yeah, peanuts, but they don't do the floor thing. Texas Logan's Texas Roadhouse does does peanuts. really all the Roadhouses. I all the Roadhouses. All every Roadhouse. Yeah, yeah. every Roadhouse. Uh, it was good though. I started eating the shell. People got mad about that. You, yeah, no, I showed you that. That's yeah. that's totally. I go back and forth. I switch back and forth. Yeah, you eat the shell. Yeah, uh, everyone. I suck the salt off the shell. It's a little extra salt. Yeah. Mm. A couple people said like that doesn't digest, so your Pardon stomach's going to be a nightmare. It's like corn. It was fine. Yeah. No issue. What do you mean, like corn? Corn, you don't digest corn. That's why you poop it out. Have you ever noticed there's corn in your shit? Are you just figuring this out? <laughs> no way. I, is it 100% you don't digest? It? No, it's like the husk, the sh little the shell. Yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah, like kernels. You can't... kernels, you shit out, you get the, the yellow dots. You digest some there. of it, yeah, for most of it. Yeah, but the problem is if you eat 100 corn kernels you don't shit out 100 corn kernels no i know but yeah you can't digest all of it we should have one of us only eat corn for a week to see what see it looks what happens. like oh yeah stephen chay's gonna eat till he throws up let's, let's make it corn yeah, yeah corn's the, probably the third best vegetable maybe second corn on the cob potato one. Oh, potatoes got potatoes one. one in a landslide yeah I would put corn too corn? i think you're right you do corn too. corn too though yeah I think I that just doesn't too. sound right there's there's a well, there's one where eggplant squash what the eggplant. fuck you want to throw a nightshade at two what are you no, talking about eggplant? No. I'm, asking, I'm giving them vegetables to see if that's what no, what are um, vegetables broccoli broccoli's damn good Zucchini? no asparagus. corn's up there asparagus. corn is actually corn's too. broccoli's in corn's too nothing Russell, feels Russell like a real food corn's too what's corn's too corn is corn's too, two? Yeah. carrots so no, i'm forgetting one Brussels I was trying to. Big Cat told me I can't. No, no, keep it. going, keep going. I thought you were just saying eggplant too. Yeah, I thought you were fighting eggplant, right. squash, Shut zucchini, oh, squash asparagus, is terrible. green beans. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, shit. oh, shit. Oh, lettuce. Avocado. avocado is if avocado overrated. is not, it's a fruit, but that would be my number two. Oh, peppers are a hot ticket item. Peppers, peppers are good. Uh, we should have. We could do potatoes and S and 
Edamame is ahead. great. Tomato, it tomato, or ahead. I, tomato. I, I, I would put up mushrooms up top. Shut the I would, fuck. I agree top. With mushrooms at their peak. <laughs> mushrooms no. are great. But you have to like saute them. I get them so stuff. mad when we do these. You gotta cook all this stuff. No cucumber, you can just eat. Same with a leek. <laughs> Cucumbers are good. Cucumbers aren't good. They you say aren't yeah, corn? Are. Corn is clear cut number two. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Far and away. Number wow. Two. It's not even close. But That's do you get the variations of that, like popcorn, or it's just straight corn? All corn. Not po- not including popcorn. But all things you can do with corn, like cream corn, street corn, street Mexican corn. street corn. Uh, yeah. Oh, corn so syrup. Good. Not corn, corn syrup. syrup. No, no you know you're what Malisek does with his popcorn? What? Like, oh, yeah. The, in the bag of popcorn, after you pop it, you get, like, some of the unpopped kernels that are just, like, still in the bag. He eats those. Oh. oh I do yeah. that, too. How do you yeah. How do you even eat it? Wait, wait. Are you talking about the ones that are no. truly unpopped? Yes. Yeah, I do that, too. That's fucked. That's fucked. I think it's, like, the best part. Because the, the half-popped ones are good, yeah. where it's, like, a you can feel them. They've softened up. I'll eat the completely unpopped ones. What? Yeah. No. I don't just wreck your teeth? No. Yeah, I think it might. <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. Good point. Yeah. Wow. Malisek's a great guy if we ever need somebody to do anything. Yes. Okay, yes. <laughs> Down for everything. I think potatoes are further ahead in the vegetable race than anything else. Anything. Out of anything. Anything. Yeah. Are sweet potatoes different? Or those are all I, I actually they are. Yeah, but they're you, definitely different. But but they're sweet also potatoes up right too. There. Yeah. You ever been to a wedding that has a smashed potato bar and you get like a martini glass of mashed potatoes and you go down and you got the gravy and the bacon and the sour well, cream? Well, that's white yes. trash as fuck, but oh. I would love to go there. <laughs> Do you go there when all the funny. parents are drunk? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know when you're a kid and your parents are fucked up and you're at a wedding and you get... Oh, so good. Yeah, though, that is very good. Yeah, potatoes just dominate everything. Yeah, I don't think... I can't think of a single example of like a potato leading the race like... Of anything, all gratin, um, scallop, any like sp- sports. Couldn't think of one. Any high school sports teams. What? What? Yeah. What? What was that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What Who's that like was. the potato of a high school? Sport? <laughs> like oh. potato of a high school? Like the, <laughs> like the Carmel High School women's swim team? Is that what you mean? In Central yeah, Indiana, well, yeah. was that with <laughs> <laughs> twenty-seven <laughs> state championships like in a row? Like North Carolina North soccer Carolina row? Soccer. <laughs> Might be the potato of women's the, soccer. Uh, no, because to be the potato, you have to go Never undefeated lose. every year. Mm, every once in a while, like <sighs> who was the who was the high school football team in California that did that? Like Don Bosco. Was it De La Salle? It was De La Salle. De La Salle, like back in the day, and like oh, they had like all those quarterbacks. They had like five or six. That's modern day. Of, oh, that was like that was MRP modern day and whatever. Yeah. Liner went there. Yeah, modern day. modern day. I think De La Salle. I remember. They had like a hundred game winning streak. Yeah, I, I saw it yeah. on Channel One. Oh, oh Maria Menounos, Channel One. Oh, channel yeah. One. Channel One. Lisa Ling. Y'all don't have Channel One oh, in yeah. school. Right? Hell yeah. yeah, Anderson Wait. Cooper was on it. Lisa Ling started on my Channel One when I was yeah. coming up. Anderson Anderson Cooper is a Vanderbilt. Yeah. I didn't realize that. We talk about that a lot, and we, yeah. then we. Kyle, yeah. you made the notable alumni page now. Well, that's bullshit. There to go. Oh, Hell yeah. Feels... No, I don't need it. All right. What did you just grab? No, your he needs a Hall of Fame. <laughs> 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 did you just yeah. immediately I'm not live in? No, he needs the Hall of Fame. He needs the Hall. He of needs fame. the Hall of Fame. Put on Prince. Yeah, you know he needs. We need to start like a campaign for Kyle to get the Hall of Fame. That's bullshit. That you're not in the Hall of Fame. Wait, did you get added? You got something added to yours? Did I? Yeah, it looked like it. Let's see. And one half. <laughs> <laughs> That's undeniable. But Kyle doesn't have that. <laughs> Thank you. That is. It's pretty uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other ad we got? See if you want to do it. No, Brandon, you do game time. All right, game time. The That's exclusive time. ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. It is football season if you want to go to a game they have cracked the code on how to get the right tickets at the right price late in the process created by fans for fans game times a ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports concerts and shows they guarantee the lowest price uh they've gotten me into the garden to see uh new york rangers games before uh also went to a wwe event they always have the best tickets at the best price um again fall is here so any football game college football big tickets pro football big tickets check out game time for it um 
Oh, look, the the examples here are football season, Drake and 21 Savage, Morgan Wallen, Luke Combs, SZA. Okay. <laughs> and baseball and the U.S. Open. Baseball playoffs are coming up, so whatever you want to watch. It's all possible with the Game Time app. The biggest last-minute price drops can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. They'll even credit you 110% of the seat price if you can find a better deal elsewhere. You get limited limited time discounts and exclusive flash deals. Download the Game Time app. Go to the website. Enter your email and redeem code YAK for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms do apply for Game Time. Oh man, hmm. what's what's SZA? What? Huh? Oh wow! That... Big big ass is a SZA. Mm. Oh, she has. She, she has. has a big ass. Did Megan the Stallion lose her ass? Why would? How do you lose an ass? She got shot. She got shot. She got yes. shot in the ass. She got her ass shot off. Tori Lane shot her, but I, I, people are complaining that she doesn't have an ass anymore. I don't know who these people are. What's going on? Did her ass get shot off? I don't think her ass got shot off, but I don't know what I happened. Check out I think it was her foot. I gotta right? check out SZA's ass. Wait, yeah, let me see SZA's ass, please. Wait, what happened to SZA's ass? Pull up SZA's ass, TJ. Nothing happened to SZA's ass. I know what happened. Uh, yes, <laughs> something happened to SZA's ass. What, what? what happened she to SZA's ass? She got work. She got work done. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, it's not good. fair they, they do look fake bigger ass. or smaller. Well, they do fake titties. Wrong a lift, a lift. I had a hard time figuring out what a fake titty looked like. Like, I, I'm I'm the dumb asshole who's like, oh, those are real. Now they got fake asses? Does it matter if the ass is fake, though? No, I'm just saying it's that I can't figure it all yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like people like oh, that's that fake, wasn't her ass. How come fake penises have never become a thing? Really, that's a good question. Why can't we get fake cocks? I need a big fake cock. <laughs> Would you get one? Went in for cock transplant surgery? Eh, probably not. Dick too big. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that wasn't her ass, TJ. Yeah, that was her front. But you could tell. <laughs> you could definitely tell. I like tell my favorite. There. My favorite ass is from the front. <laughs> yeah, Hon- honestly, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can tell from ass the front, that's, front that's, ass? that's hotter than you. Like you can front see your ass? ass from the front. You like front yeah. ass more than back ass? <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> so that's that's the perfect I mean, picture you can right tell there. It's there. Front ass. If you could see the ass from the front, that's a that's true that's a magnificent ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. SZA. And what does SZA do? Oh. Okay. Oh, yep, there it is. Yes. That's, but you can kind of tell. Confirmed big ass. <laughs> you can very much tell that. She's a singer? What, what are some of her songs? Would I know any? Um, I feel very old right now. I had no idea. I think she, she's not too new. She's or no, young. She, how, how many followers does she have? 17.5 17. She's famous. Fuck. A oh, piece of cake moving. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to them. Those they boys did a great are job on my house. <laughs> Shout out those guys. What was that? A, what good. happened to our girls? What is that account? Tacos and titties. Oh Tacos yeah. And, oh, did they what? give up? Yeah. Wow. Are they still doing it? Are they still doing it? Probably not. Oh okay. Huh? Yeah, that's a big ass. Oh, were there this two is accounts, Kyle? Were there Tacos and titties? Was there also a puppies one? Oh, that was like a puppy one. That was the one that already took off. Okay. Yeah, but Tacos and Titties was a fledgling um, one. They started stealing pictures of tacos that weren't there. Yeah, right. And titties. Right. Yeah. Oh, I thought the titties they were, were just crowd. They were just t- taking them from Instagram models. They were pulling titties. I always wear this right. little hippie pack that I wear like crossbody. And you guys got me paranoid about it ever since you showed me the, oh, the seat seat belts belts and titties seat account. Yeah. I'm oh, like, oh, yeah, they're too belts. far apart. <laughs> got to go around the Have you all started gathering yeah. fellas for Friday? I have, oh, I have oh, one. I have, I, have a, fella. I have a fella, too. I have a new My fella. My DMs are almost annoynly full of fellas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you, guys, fellas. did you guys see Tony P's Sunday Fit? Oh, my God. Can, we see, can you pull up Tony P's Sunday Fit? He was ready for football. <laughs> I actually am shocked that he didn't get signed by a team with some of the moves that he showed. Yeah, I have a fella. I have a new fella that rocks. It's Tony P, my Sunday football fit. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. He can't. He has to be aware. Is he gonna yeah, play? look at this. <laughs> oh. 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 He, oh. Hey, wait, wait. Escape no. the pressure in my jeans. Oh. He's aware. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Escape the pressure in my jeans. Bang. Shake it big. Oh, <laughs> avoid some tacklers. <laughs> Set things up. 
Is that a football saying? Go deep. Mix it no, up in the shotgun. It's hard. <laughs> Wait. Let's go. Arm <laughs> The yeah. epitome of excellent. I'm, 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 I'm going to say self-aware. But four rolls for Tom. Is he not going anywhere? He's just doing this. Yeah, no, he's just. That was just him getting ready. It was his birthday too. Now he's a 25 year old. Oh gee. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Well, well. Right. come on, Teej. TJ. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome guy. Come on, TJ. TJ, there's Snickers ice cream bars in the fridge. Yeah, for PMT, we have a deal with Snickers. One won't hurt. Is that where they came from? Those yeah. are the best. They're my favorite, oh, I've favorite treat in the world. I took two boxes Are home. you going to have one? No. TJ, you want one right now? They're the goaded, like, quick uh, ice cream. Mm -hmm. It treat. hits just so good. So good. So good. They were the best summer pool day, like at the public pool, the concession stands. Yes. Getting out of the pool and getting one of those. Oh. Yes. Because there, yeah. there's no mess. So good. Shout Snickers. Great sponsor. You can never have just one. Like, I always oh, end no. up eating, like, five of them. I think I ate yeah, four I yesterday ate. while we were watching football. I could eat infinite. Number. Never went outside. Yesterday looked like a beautiful day. Yeah, it was. Didn't go outside. A little it's depressing. Kind of trash. You know. I was not prepared for this weekend as a football consumer to just park my ass on the cat. Like I, I it was week one for my body. As, yeah, oh yeah. Like I, holy my shit! Eyes. I woke up this morning feeling like absolute garbage. Yes, I've said it. It's, it's, and I know that people think that it's a joke, but like I think it's harder to watch two full days of football than play in a single game. <laughs> I really do. I really do. <laughs> it's more taxing on the body. Did you see the laziest competition? No. It's um, it's going on like five plus days now. You have to. It's everyone in the shack has to stay laid down. What? They can use their phone, their laptop, but can it's we like, see this? Oh no! This rules. Who's running it? Is it Mr. Beast thing? No. It sounds like a Mr. Beast thing. The laziest. I don't think I would enjoy that. No, you would definitely get restless. Yeah. yeah. What's the bathroom protocol? You, you of all people, because you, you like to just move around and be anxious. I do. I like to pace. I'm a pacer. Mm. Rick Smiths. That's your pacer? That's a dunk. Dunk he's, a pretty good, he's a pretty good pacer. Yeah, that's a pretty good pacer to come up with off the dome. You don't go Reggie Miller first? Nah, I'm going Danny Granger. Easiest Granger's. citizen contest. 20 days. Oh, wow. 20 days? Yeah, they're breaking records. <laughs> what do you win? It's only a thousand dollars. Oh what? my god! Yeah. <laughs> just a thousand bucks. Those aren't even full mattresses. Those don't even look like comfortable. That man. sucks. Twenty straight days. I mean, oh, those guys are. Yeah. Cool. Those guys that's are just, damn. That's good. just me and Dana yeah, Pierce. Yellow's gonna. No, those guys aren't going yeah. anywhere. I want. Is there a live stream of this? Quitting this has to be. Is there one winner, or is it if everybody lasts a certain amount of time? <laughs> I didn't know. They it's all get winner. It's whoever. Like the last, the last year, standing, like the, the last previous world record was f like five days, and they all smashed it. Thousand bucks. Wait, look at quit it. Do you look at that picture. Say, I gotta go do something. Look what at that picture. Dropping that dude out on the right is gonna tough. win. Yes. That dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's got the perfect, yeah. the perfect body for it. He was born. born. Oh my god! He's completely oh. unbothered. <laughs> when does your ten minutes every eight hours? Every eight hours. Oh that's bad. Yeah. When does your body start to like fully atrophy? It's got to be like a couple weeks. Does right? your yeah. back hurt? Don't you get or? sore? Yeah, you get sore. Yeah. How do Is they that... eat? How do they, they bring them food? Oh, yeah, they they do there? provide them with food. I think. Damn. You ask how they eat. Eid, read, read, use cell phones. Is there a live stream of this? I don't, yeah, know, I don't even know what my, That guy's my 1-1. One, one. Yeah. He, he is just, he's, he's got natural. the perfect, yeah, the, the laptop on the dick, the phone in front on his belly. He's just built for this. The, the competition began 12 years ago to poke fun at the myth that Montenegrins are lazy. lazy. Oh, well, good job. I never <laughs> oh, knew God. that. <laughs> Montenegrin, yeah, everyone's <laughs> talking about well, now I think they're lazy. <laughs> Montenegro. They trained for this all year. Is that was that a thing that Montenegro? Everyone's like lazy. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Trace back to cultural references such as Montenegro commandments, a humorous list of unofficial commandments. They're often sold as souvenirs that hyperbolizes the Montenegrin lifestyle of leisure and relaxation. Where's Montenegro, Kyle? 
Yeah. What the is Balkans. it? Tropical looking? Oh, the Balkans? Like yeah. the cold place? Um, maybe the Baltics is what you're thinking. Of? Okay. Yeah. I thought the, I thought the same Very thing. Uh, okay. The Balkans, I feel like overcast. I'm thinking Eastern Europe when you say yeah. Balkans. Yeah, it is. Balkans yeah. Eastern oh. Europe, but it's yeah, yeah. sat toward the Mediterranean. Oh, okay. Is Montenegro nice? It's oh, beautiful, and it has some nice air. Serbia and Montenegro. It's by Serbia, yes. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Oh. that's like when the, yeah. yeah, that's like Great if you ever say KB or Nick without yeah. KB and Nick. Plum. Is that Serbia and Montenegro. Is that who Serunas Marcelonis played for? I feel like you know this. <laughs> Serbia Montenegro. I think that's I think that's Vladi Divac. Yes. Oh. Yes. What happened? Did they split? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Serbia Montenegro. Good yeah. thirty for the, thirty. Right, yeah, right. that was the thirty for thirty. Thirty for thirty about that. About their split. Think Bosnia, right? Were they like? Uh, oh, Bosnia Herzegovina. Yeah, mm -hmm. They're still together. They are. Yep. And Serbia and Montenegro are, are yeah. out. Yeah. Wonder what happened. Huh. Is Trinidad and Tobago still get still together? Yeah, those are, they'll never break Forever. up. They'll never break up. Soulmates. They're they're like uh, and Chrissy Teigen yeah. and, and John Legend. Right. They're, that will never break up. They're perfect for they're you. Per <laughs> Is there a good city in the U.S. that has "and" in the title? A city. Yeah, there's countries that have "and." Oh. Oh, I can't even think of any that. W I can't either. I, I just I asked can... it as an open-ended question. Put in Bay, which does not answer the question. Minneapolis uh, and St. Paul? Oh, yeah. yeah. I know. But oh, yeah. It's, it's Those together. are two separate cities. No, but you hear but them together, together all the time. You can say two cities with A. Oh, They're right. the twin cities. No, There's but yeah, you hear them together all the time. Truth or consequence. Yes. There's a couple by the seas. Yeah. Yeah. There's got to be an and in there somewhere. I know. Uh. Mm. Yeah, there's got to be an and. How does that happen? It probably is two cities merging, and then they're like, what they are you just link up. Yeah, like, like, we're better together. They take a vote on what they call the new city, and it's just... Like Eagleton Pawnee. Yeah, mm -hmm. split down the middle, and they're like, all right, well... How do you decide who goes first? I think the bigger name goes first. Goes first. Like, whoever is, like, going to carry... Draw. like so you're the, saying Trinidad is, is bigger and more yeah. prestigious than Tobago. Tobago. Yeah, which, like, usually... It's mostly sports. If you're the second name, you're usually more of, like, the piece of shit, like, hanger on. Right. And the first name is more of, like, the like the star, try, like, the reason people yeah, the, care about. Yeah. What's um, what's mostly sports? What if they don't say your oh, that's, name? That's and what if and Brent, yeah. Oh, it's Tyson Walker. Tyson what if it's, like, Walker, a name yeah, and yeah. co? Oh yeah. What does that mean for the co? Mm -hmm. the co. Not good for the co. <laughs> That's right. Not good for the co. I hate that. It bothers me so much. <laughs> I think it's funny. We I are, know, but it's like I don't know who came up with that. We are the co. Well, I think the co changes so much. Yeah, but yeah, it co should just be it should just be the yak with co. I like the, <laughs> the yak and co. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Yak, yak and co. co. Yak yeah. and co. No, I like the yak with, with co. co. Yeah, yeah, with co. <laughs> Because it is the true nature of the show. It's just the co. Um, I was thinking for Friday, can we do a fella bracket and we all bring like three fellas? Yes. Anonymously fellas? vote. Yes. We need yes. a fella. Or yes. should we wait to, to compile more fellas? We build up to the bracket? No. Or, I think I think maybe we do fellow Fridays and we do a bracket and then we okay each Friday, Friday one we, fella advances oh. advances to, the to yeah, yeah and then at the end of the right. year we have the best fellas and that's yeah. and we invite yeah. them out yeah oh my God fellow fest I will pay for all the fellas to come out fellow fest would rule we would find out very quickly that we didn't like Coach any fella. of them what Coach fella, Coach fella. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Coach fella right there in the name. <laughs> Yeah, how quickly do you think we'd be like, oh, fuck, this was a mistake? Well, well, what, the thing about the <laughs> fellas, like the they're all so weird. So weird. I think if I had to guess, uh, vote on a winner for the, the other Friday, it was Zeke Sanchez. Yeah. I, I hunted yeah, out. I'd agree with that. After I left. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Is That's that the diver? Yeah. 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 The diver. Yep. And the He's name is so like important. Yeah. Yeah. Zeke yeah. Sanchez is perfect. Yep. Starts with a Z, ends with a Z. Oh, wow. You know who's a good fellow is Roll Tide Willie. You don't think he was a fella? Uh, he's an internet kind of weirdo. Yeah, he's a. He, we're not doing internet weirdos. We're doing fellas. Yeah, but they're okay. kind of synonymous. <laughs> they're they're related. They're Does a fella have related. to be a guy? Check it. Come yeah, on. obviously, <laughs> just check it. No, it can be a girl. Yeah. Sure. It can be a girl with guy tendencies. Sure. But I promise you, oh, okay. she will never win. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
Bring a girl. Let's see how bad she loses. Bring your fucking girl. You brought a gal to a fella fest? (laughs) Okay. Oh, Coach Fella's going to (laughs) rule. We've got to camp out with them. Yeah. I can see not us having so much a problem with them, maybe, but them immediately... Several of the fellas having problems with each other. That would be yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my God. Well, none of the fellas know who we are. Right. So there's no guarantee they wouldn't, they would like us. True. So they might that clash with us. That would be fine. But yeah. fella energy fine. is a different, yeah. we're not fellas. Well, they're all competitors in the fella right. market. Yes. It's are different. fellas? Mm, we Steven might be Scott. someone else's fellow. Yeah, he is. Like, Colin is definitely someone else's fellow. Look at that fellow. face. Yeah, you're a fellow. You might be a fellow. Yeah, you might be a fellow. Yeah. You might be a fellow. Yeah. So there are people who are sharing Stephen Chase clips being like, can you fucking it. believe uh, this guy? Every fella <laughs> is shared by, with the caption, I love this dude. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. like a fellow, you also... A fellow really is a fellow when you have to ask yourself, like, are they doing a bit or not? Yep. yep. And that is Stephen Shea's entire mm. life mm-hmm. rolled sure. into one. And the answer is no. It's crazy that people still think that you are doing a bit in any way. When was the last – have you ever tried to, like, I'm going to plan – I'm going to say this, act like this in order to get a reaction and see what happens? Have you ever done that? And act like? No. No, it's just not, it's not who he is. Huh? It's not built into him. Even to it. it. Yeah, okay. It doesn't work. Your brain doesn't work like You've that. never, like, pre-written or written comedy for yourself? Uh, I did stand-up once, like, what? eight years ago, maybe. What? Oh. Maybe right. even longer than that. What? Twelve years ago? If, wait, we, haven't what? Talked, we haven't discovered this, have we? I've oh. said this before. I did an open mic once. Oh, he A very long time ago. Oh. And what did you... Minutes. Can you tell us what uh, you're doing? like, six or seven. What was your material about? <sighs> can we get you to go back up? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm not afraid of it. Okay, uh, I just I wrote jokes for a really long time. What, and then, what was your what was your lead joke? I don't remember. Fantasy football. But I, I did no, I did have it memorized. Did you just hold up that magazine that you laughed at really hard? <laughs> Drew Bennett. <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. Um, man, as as that was probably the last thing I like memorized for. Great as he is, as he is now, 15 years ago, Chase sounds like a motherfucker. Oh yeah, I wore a shirt that said pants. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You didn't even have to do any jokes. <laughs> yeah. You stood up there. Yeah. The Letterman <laughs> Letterman's company, his like holding company over Worldwide his, like, pants. pants. Worldwide pants. Oh, so yeah. yeah. You said pants. Yep. But it was a shirt. Wild yeah. card. Damn. Wow. That is You popped up on stage and they were like, This guy's gonna be <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Does he realize that's a shirt? <laughs> oh, wait, that's what you wore to the open mic? Yeah, it was like it was. It's it was, always it was very easy. It was like a joke, friend was sure. hosting, like a, a like kind of a similar. It's like the dollar slice thing. Um, it was probably in front of thirty people, maybe. What you got to tell us? What one of the you remember one of the jokes? What did you touch on? Sports? No. Sex. Like dating. That's all you have. Politics. The issues. No, something about racism and guess who? Whoa! That was all just like racist questions. Okay. Like yeah. veiled. That's kind of funny. Uh, that's yeah, pretty good. That's, that's pretty a good, good premise. Yeah. 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 I I don't remember the stuff. I I remember uh um yeah, I, I don't want to get it, but it it's uh yeah, I could do something in in the near future. I have to I have to write a lot. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's going to do something. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Super Bowl open mic. Yeah, I'd be fine with that. Going on. I need you to go up again. Sticking out the That's fine. I just got to get a book and start writing. But yeah, I don't write anything that I talk about on here. I guess on the prep sheet. <laughs> yeah, how do you... How do you... Talk about your prep sheet. Um, I don't know. Do you put it on every year that September, it's September 11th? What does that date mean to you? Is that too much to ask? I just feel like it's... A- What's Tommy Walker doing today? When I met him, he asked me if I remembered September 11th. Yeah, he did. He, uh, he asked you that? Yeah, he just he just asked me if I remembered. I wasn't sure what was going on, and I was like, yeah, He I just do. wants to know, man. So what... Uh, he goes, what, what's, Tom, what's Tommy born in 2010? Yeah. Oh, my God. Jeez. Yeah, so you're going to like go home, and he's going to be watching like a bunch of YouTube. He Who's probably will. I've seen him watching before. Right now. Yeah. Have... Uh, <laughs> 
have thoughts on building seven. Uh, the other day, me and my wife, we didn't fight, but we were just kind of raise our voices a little bit. And, Uh-oh. And, Ooh. And Tommy walks through as we're talking to each other and says, you two are crazy. <laughs> walking. Did it break the did It break broke the it fight? entirely. Oh, that's yeah. great. Yeah. Good for him. <laughs> it broke it entirely. And it wasn't a fight. It was It was just like, I, the reason I'm saying this this loud is I didn't hear you. And okay, well, you don't have to. And it was one of them. Yeah, when you raise your voice like that, I always do feel like you, you, yeah. you, you're agitated. Yeah. Well, I, I, I look agitated often. I got to hang out with Brandon's mom this weekend. She's That's the best. Right. Yeah. right. The best. The best. Yeah, she told me. She asked me when to get there, and I said 2 o'clock. She got there at one fifteen. just hung out with Dave for 45 minutes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> FaceTime with the boss. Good for her. Yeah, she had fun. She had a good time. Um, She's an Alabama fan. Yeah. She told me that. Alabama stinks now. Yep. What are you guys leading with with mostly sports tomorrow? Probably whatever happens question. tonight. Maybe we did. We've done two test shows, um, and after today's test show, Brandon's one note was that, and I'm, this is verbatim what he said. I think it needs to be sillier. <laughs> Use the word sillier. Sillier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't. Can you can you expand on that? Like, I, what is silly what, in your? I think it could have been a little sillier. I don't. I think. I think we've hit a bump in the road with the the conceptualizing of what the show is no i think we were we were talking straight sports today mostly we had a couple of little things mm. but i think the silliness could have been ramped up a little bit i think we could have done a little some goofy stuff some fun stuff silly like one of those flowers the that little... you need to smell and it sprays yeah. water. <laughs> no, that's yeah. what I, right funny as fuck or so tomorrow morning when we debut brandon's just gonna be like titus pull my finger and <laughs> i would laugh that, that's... would that not be awesome i would laugh you, should, you know what you should do oh, yeah. You know yeah you should do you should wear a shirt that says pants on it. Oh, <laughs> That'd be really funny. I don't think silly. I'm ready for it to be that silly. <laughs> That'd be really I might silly. get banned from YouTube. <laughs> That'd be silly. <laughs> I need... This guy's a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> I need Stephen Che to go back up. We got to have you go yeah. back up, Stephen. Or just do it on the show. I, it, it's going to take a while, but yeah, like Super Bowl was like... Take your time. Around. Take your time. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. I'm looking for, we I'm have looking to for like, a photo because I think there's a photo. Go for another 15 minutes. <laughs> I want to. I want to. Are you looking it up right now? I'm looking for a photo because I think there is a photo of it. Of you wearing pants? Of me in the shirt, yes. Where, where well, you were wearing pants, right? I was, yes. Okay. Whew. As I usually do. Such a shirt. Dad. That got confusing, yeah, for a second there. They have the naked stand up shows. Oh, I think I saw a poster for one here. Yeah, New York City has one. I think I've seen posters for one here. Oh, man. But it's a totally naked, the comedians go up like completely nude. 100%. That would suck so bad. My yeah. dick would look so tiny. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what are you laughing about? Stuff? Found the picture. I'll you found it. the picture. Yeah, TJ. send it. Send it to TJ. Send it over. What? I'm very excited about this. Picture. Yes, <laughs> I wish we had video. God I'm a little damn. embarrassed how excited I am. <laughs> TJ let out a little laugh. <laughs> 2013, so 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Oh, man. This is so. How old were you? Where were you at in life? Uh, living in the city. Uh, no. Living with a, my uh, ex girlfriend, I guess now. Uh, oh. and I oh. was, I don't know, I was trying to figure out what I, like, was passionate about and what I wanted to, like, really do. Why did that, you guys were living together? Yeah. What happened oh. with the breakup? That could mean oh. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Killed her? Yeah, what? What, does, what, what the know, fuck did you up. do? <laughs> split up. Okay. What, did you, what was the hand motion you did? Yeah, kind of like the Joey Gladstone cut up. Cut it out. Cut it what out. was it? What was the reason though? Was it football related? No, no. She's pretty supportive of football. Um, <laughs> As if you <laughs> play. <laughs> she was supportive of my career. Supportive of football. football. <laughs> she was a good person. We had some philosophical differences. Oh, oh. was she racist? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, she was actually also Asian. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, you don't have to. Yeah. You don't have to answer everything. Yeah. But we'd like cool. you to. Yeah. Was the right, open see the like, picture. like a see comedy the club or was it? No, it was at a friend's. Um... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're even doing the funny guy pose. Uh, What's that's happening? Awesome. The... Yeah, I'm super hammered uh, at this point. Um, 
A friend that we worked with uh, had an apartment in Union Square that was like one of these, like, you take the elevator up and it's like 10 dudes that live there. And he, one of the guys was like a comedy club promoter and just hosted a thing there. And there were maybe like 25, 30 people there. And I think like maybe half a dozen people, eight people went up and did a couple minutes. That was it. I can't tell if you look more or less Asian. <laughs> it's so it tough. Looks <laughs> lo- he looks cool. <laughs> yeah, you, you're a handsome guy. Handsome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You are a handsome guy, Stephen. Has that ever gotten you like in trouble? Wow. Oh, why? Uh, what got me in trouble? Ever, like, oh, this is actually a burden. Being handsome. Yeah. Got four women in trouble. <laughs> oh <laughs> damn! Why J four? Because they can't <laughs> win them. Yeah. Well, so what, what was the trouble they got in? <laughs> they had sex with yeah, yeah. 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 Worst trouble Were you could you a be. Boy? <laughs> <laughs> you a little boy. Uh, <laughs> that's my penis. <laughs> oh, oh man. wait! You you call your penis a little trouble? <laughs> <laughs> a little trouble on Big China. <laughs> uh. <sighs> All right, should we spin but. the wheel, TJ? <laughs> oh, buy a gun. It surprises me. a bad feeling. I see it. It's exciting. Uh oh. <gasps> or a really good feeling. Oh. Go, 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 go. Close. <laughs> Will that person have to just leave the show now and go buy a gun, or is it a process that I don't know? How are we going to get it started? What happens to like? I, I've never even looked into buying a gun. Do you get like? <laughs> okay, guess, lib. Depends on what, where you are. <laughs> but uh, do you? They do like background checks, right, and all that shit, or no? Yeah, but I think you can get it like next yeah. day. What is like the people always say? You can go to Walmart and just leave with a gun. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if that's true. That's not. I don't know. Does it do anything to your future if you were to buy a gun? Are you like on some sort of list, think. or like, no. do you yeah. can you not buy a gun later in life? Can you? you yeah, uh, a person only has limited li- guns. limited number of guns. I don't know. I guess it probably does depend state to state. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, it would be sick to have one person just be a gun owner. You don't. You can carry in Chicago. Either. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah. You have you multiple have guns. Yeah. What kinds? Shotguns, rifles, pistols. In your Hell house? yeah. Strapped. Didn't you also say you shot a rabbit and you like you could never shoot anything else again? Uh, no, it was actually a snake. You Wait, shot it. Oh, snake? your uncle Doug too? Yeah, my uncle Doug yeah. took me to yeah. took me hunting. Are you Kate's dad? With this yeah. snake hunting? <laughs> the fuck? No, we, we were. He yeah. ju- was just going out and shooting. Uh, he had a twenty two rifle and he was just teaching me how to shoot it. Well, not teaching me. We were just going out and shooting stuff, and we saw a snake in the the ditch. It went along the creek and I shot like five times and missed. And I finally hit it and I didn't like the way he hit. It reacted. Yeah. And dying? Yeah. You I didn't like you're I, like Right. I couldn't and I wish you had died easier. My family all hunts and everything. I can't I can't hunt. I can only fish. Yeah, so. Snakes have yeah. nothing to flail, so it's probably awkward. It was yeah, it was it was it's both like going crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but snakes suck. Yeah, snakes I'm suck. all snakes for it. So everyone should be but I can't, like I can't kill I can't kill spiders. I I I take tissue, grab a spider and take him outside and put him in the yard. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Even the tiny ones? Yeah. What about an ant? The only animal I really can kill is a mosquito. Because if I don't, then that's... So if you have like a hundred ants in your house, you just like shuffle them out? <laughs> you ask them nicely? <laughs> like, guess... All right, guys, and do, you know, well, flicker the lights oh, like yeah. last yeah. call. I'll have somebody come spray them and kill them. They'll kill them, but I, I, I don't do it. I feel guilty for setting mouse traps. Ooh, the... I think, have any of you been like skeet shooting or like yeah yeah I've been yeah, skeet shooting that's really fun very fun it's like really really fun terrible at it shooting a but gun is, is it's fun, fun. Yeah. and it makes you feel manly yeah, yeah. shooting yeah. a gun is a great feeling just I don't don't want to hit anything no yeah I'm excited for one of us to have one yeah <laughs> we can all fiddle with happen. it happen it's gonna happen um all right we got anything else that's about it great yak everyone mm-hmm. Good. Was that a Monday? That was, that a, was Monday. a Monday. That was a good Monday. Was a good time. These are always um, yeah. Sundays to Mondays in the fall. I'm like sleepwalking. Yeah. We'll get it there though. And Stephen, oh, I don't want to look at him. <laughs> what? Just, the Bears having to play the Bucks week two is just get it over with though. 
Yeah, but it's just put it in the rear view. You'll be fine. There's no, there's no way that I have an enjoyable, unless the Bears like kill them, enjoyable experience. If they win at all, you have an enjoyable experience. What? Win your bets. Yeah. Che unveiled a new way to say a player name yesterday. Yeah. You want to give it to us? Yeah. I don't even know what you're talking about. Your quarterback. Oh, that wasn't it. That that's not a. That's thing. not a new that's one. Not gonna be a thing. No. What would no. what you say? He just did something. I was like, Pika. yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> that was more. That was much more of a. Just, Pika. Pika. Yeah. I I kind of like it. <laughs> it stopped us dead in our tracks. Yeah. All right. We'll see everyone tomorrow. Good yak. Bye. Tune in to Mostly Sports tomorrow morning. Subscribe, please. On 9 a.m. Central. 9 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Eastern. Eight.